just wanted to do put up my first video with uh, my new hair because I kind of did a thing. <laughs> so of course my hair is a bit on the messy side right now. I just let it dry. Um, I just let it dry naturally. So oops, go away. Just let it dry naturally. So this is what happens with uh, natural curls and my mermaid hair, galaxy hair, mermaid hair, whatever you want to call it. It's just super pretty and I like it. It's already starting to fade a little bit in some spots, but you know what? That's awesome because the pastels will look just as pretty. But um, anyway, so I thought I would do a quick update. So right now, sorry, my cat's like by my feet. Um, so right now as a family, I think I, I don't remember if I've mentioned this or not, our whole family is doing what is called the keto diet. So if you're not really familiar with the keto diet, it's basically a, a high fat, low carb diet that uh, can actually really jumpstart your weight loss. Um, it's actually technically what you're doing when you first start the Atkins diet. So the Atkins diet, hang on, this is kind of crooked. So the Atkins diet for like that first phase, um, you can do it kind of, you can do the first phase kind of as long as you want, but you're basically, um, you know, on a keto diet, except you're going a lot lower. You're not really tracking things like macros or any of that stuff. So I'm not going to, I'm not here to base, I'm not really here to tell you how to start the keto diet. I just wanted to share that I'm starting it. Um, so it's been a couple of weeks. I haven't done a lot of major weight loss as far as, you know, actually physically seeing weight come off, but uh, I do struggle here and there with uh, staying in ketosis. Sometimes I miscalculate and things like that. So, um, but I will say that it was kind of nice the first, uh, after the first week, I actually dropped about 10 pounds. I mean, it was water weight. Um, so I guess technically that's a, uh, you know, a, a decent amount of weight, but it wasn't like weight that I could, you know, see inches, things like that. Um, so it's actually been like two, almost three weeks. I haven't lost a lot, but I've also been exercising a lot too. So I'm kind of torn between, you know, kind of hoping that the reason that I'm not seeing as much weight loss is more so that I uh, have been gaining some muscle rather than, you know, the fact that maybe I'm not getting to ketosis, but, um, anyway, I'm working on it, but yeah, so it's definitely a nice, you know, nice, a nice change. I'm not really doing gluten, definitely feeling better when I don't have gluten. I'm not, I'm not really like a celiac, anything like that. I don't have that full version to, uh, breads and wheat and all that, but I do have a sensitivity to it. So I love pasta. I love bread, but you know, I always feel kind of crappy after I eat it. I never really feel that great. I always feel bloated and stuffed and yeah. I've also decided that I am, um, as much as I love to have the kind of high fat, low carb coffees from uh, Starbucks, cause yes, you can do that. There's a couple things, uh, you know, comment below if you'd like to know what I do for my uh, Starbucks drinks that uh, are, are within the carb range. I mean, I can get them for about I think like six carbs I can get a nice grande drink uh, but yeah definitely comment below or if you'd like to know more about those or if you want me to post the uh, blend that I do but um anyway yeah my stomach I, I've, I've gone and done another sensitivity test to see what I'm still kind of sensitive to because uh, yeah my stomach has been absolutely hating coffee I mean it's part of it could be you know, I, do, I am a little sensitive to dairy, um, so part of it could be that, but really I've noticed it more so with coffee, like specifically, than I have with the actual dairy. Because I've been doing like probiotics, things like that, to kind of, uh, you know, keep my stomach from getting overwhelmed by all of the dairy. Because you do have a lot of dairy when you're on this particular diet, just because it's an easy high fat that um, is low carb. And then like today, like I am literally at... Uh, I think I'm at like 29.7. My goal is about 30 or less. So yeah, I definitely need to drop my my carb intake down a bit and you know, really come down on myself for that. I need to get back on track. But um, yeah, no, I mean it's honestly it's a good way to eat. It I haven't been having any major issues other than the coffee thing. There's also that thing called the uh, keto flu. They call it didn't really have a problem with that. I, um, I got really tired for a while near the beginning, but then I'm also a cat type of person. So I like to sleep. So that could also have been lack of sleep. But, um, anyway, 
just wanted to give a quick update on that. I'm also still doing the chiropractor, so I get to wear all the weird braces and stuff. And um, I definitely do a bit of exercise there, so that's nice. It's just helping me to kind of build some muscle. I need to start, you know, sitting up straighter. I should be wearing my, my parachute right now. <laughs> so my parachute, if you're wondering, is a back brace. It's got, like, straps, and then you, you know, attach it, and it makes you stay like this kind of like a corset but um anyway I am just rambling on I uh, have been doing that my fiance and I have been kind of the gym up and down I did go to the gym with uh, my kitty cat sister the other day which was really nice but uh, uh this kind of leads me to the review that I you know posted that I was going to be putting in the in this video you know the whole you know uh, health update and a review um, oh, one last health thing. Uh, for the most part, the coughing and stuff has diminished. You, I mean, obviously, I'm not sitting here coughing and hacking during my video, so that's good. I honestly really still don't know what triggers it. I mean, maybe the fact that we had some storms cleared up the air a bit, but, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Um, anyway, one of the things that's definitely been really helpful when I go to the gym is, you know, some people will have, like, a towel and stuff they um, that they'll bring with them, and, you know, it'll help keep them dry and it also helps you know it helped keep I went to the gym like the day after getting my hair done so I was kind of worried about you know ending up with a blue face because that is one uh pain thing is that it does uh drip a little if you're uh sweaty and stuff for a while I had a blue neck uh, so yeah I've only uh, washed it about twice since I got it done because you're not really supposed to wash too much so It'll probably be at least three or four days before I wash it again. Yay for dry shampoo and uh, little things to cover my hair. In my other video, you'll see my sexy um, hairdress thing. But um, anyway, again, getting off track. I'm tired. Uh, work is tiring. But uh, anyway, so one of the things that I did get, um, it's obviously I did get it free. Uh, actually, no, I got it discounted in exchange for an honest opinion. But you know, I was really excited to try this because... Um, microfiber towels are really, really nice. They're very small. They don't take up a lot of space. Obviously, they're small. They dry quickly. They also uh, absorb really well. So um, I got this cute little set. So this is the package it came in. Now, this is the little baggie. So this is a nice, uh, just a nice little nylon bag. Um, so the company that made the this set that I got is a J2 line sports and outdoors. And uh, these were basically personal towels that they come, they wrap up and neat, and they neatly fit inside this thing if you have the patience to wrap them up. Um, they're quick dry, quick dry, lightweight, antibacterial, and they're extremely absorb absorbent. Can't talk. So first of all, you get two sizes. I, at first I thought they were both just like gym towels, but no, no. So this is the first size. So it's a cute little one. You can kind of put it around your neck, you know, to help catch the sweat. But yeah, or catch the dye in my case. But um, but yeah, so there's that size. So it's it's just like perfect size for taking to the gym. Plus, um, you know, if you need to hang it on something, like if you don't really need the towel for during the workout, but you want to have it hanging on something so that you can use it afterwards, it's got this cool little snappy thing. I just had it open a second ago. There we go. Made it more difficult than it needed to be. I was unsnapping the wrong side. But yeah, so um, it's got this cool little snappy thing. So you can hang it up to dry too, so that's nice. And then what was cool is it actually comes with a rather decently sized towel. I mean, I don't know if it would wrap fully around me, but you know, it's a it's an interesting uh, texture, um, but it is pretty soft. Uh, it hasn't dried fully from me taking a shower, but then I used it specifically in my hair. It absorbed a ton of the moisture. It, um, this is perfect because, you know, if you're one of those people, I, I'm trying to be one of those people, I haven't done it quite yet except for one time, who wants, to, you're trying to be one of those people that uh, goes to the gym before work, and you need, obviously, you don't want to go to work all sweaty and gross, so you, you know, you need something that you can really quickly hop in the shower, dry off quickly, this absorbs the moisture, um, if you do have another towel and you just need something to wrap your long hair in like mine, then uh, this is great. But yeah, it would definitely work as a regular towel and you can just lay it out in your car because it's a really smooth, easy towel and it would definitely dry quickly in the sun. It's got a couple of things. It's got one, it's got two little hooks. So, or wait, 
yeah, it's got two, basically two hooks. So it's got the one typical like, you know, little shower kind of, not shower hook, but you know, just yeah, for like a shower hook. Um, or you've got also the little snappy thing. So you have two different options for hanging it up. So it's, you don't have to worry about your towel falling off the shower hooks and, um, you know, falling on the gross ground because, you know, I mean, they clean the gyms, but you never know what, um, you never know what might be on there. But yeah, so those from J line, J two line are really awesome. I was so excited to try these. I, again, they're, they're really soft microfiber. Um, they are made with, let's see, they're 20% poly polyamide and then 80% polyester. So they're just, uh, just enough polyester to have that absorbentness and, you know, just enough whatever the other thing is to feel soft and not feel like, you know, irritating on the skin. I mean, I would totally use these for so many things. Uh, it feels so nice on your skin. But um, anyway, yeah, so I will definitely link down below uh, this. You can get them on Amazon. They are really, they're really not that bad. Um, I don't remember the price offhand, but uh, again, the link for them will be down below. And you can check them out yourself, too. I don't know if they come in other colors. I don't remember offhand, but uh, but yeah, I am definitely happy with that. And even if I hadn't, you know, gotten the opportunity to uh, test them out, I, I'd pay full price for those. Like I would definitely buy some of those. If if these started to get worn out, I would buy more. You know, who knows? I might even buy an extra set just to have, so I can have, you know, one that's needs to, one that needs to be washed and one that's clean, and trade them off as I go along. But um, anyway. I just wanted to show those off and uh, do just a little quick review on them because again very happy with them and yeah they absorb so much moisture and it's probably why my hair is like so extra fluffy but uh anyway I hope you enjoyed my video uh, if you did give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of what I'm doing for my keto stuff definitely give me a thumbs up um, if you want to see some of the interesting foods that like my housemates making because she's I mean, she's pretty much a cook, even though she, that, she chose not to follow that for her um, actual, you know, career. But when she cooks, she makes the most amazing things. Like, um, but I, I post them on my Instagram and and uh, also like you know my Twitter and stuff like that. So definitely check them out. The links for my different things are down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh. And then uh, if you do want to keep up with what I'm doing as far as like exercise and uh, everything, definitely hit the subscribe button and I will definitely see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.